Today I've come to Sunshine Toyota on the Sunshine Coast to review the brand new RAV4 Hybrid. Let's find out how good it is as a baby drive. In the back of the new RAV4 there are Isofix in the two outer seats. They're not within plastic guides but they are nice and easy to connect to. On the back of all three seat backs there are top tether anchorages. They're not within plastic guides either and they're a little hidden behind the seat fabric but again they're easy to connect to. Now I was really nicely surprised that I could fit three child seats in the back here. I tested three forward facing as well as two forward facing and a rear facing and they all fitted so it's really really good. Now leg room is good as well. I could fit a 180cm passenger in front of a rear facing child seat so that's really good. Storage is quite minimal in the back of the new RAV4. There's only one map pocket that will hold but not conceal an iPad. There's a fold down in the central seat back with two cup holders. They will hold a reusable or a disposable coffee cup. They rattle a bit but a large refillable water bottle fits in there well. And there's small door bins in both doors and they will hold a large refillable water bottle. In the front storage is quite compact too. There is a good phone charging well here, it's got cordless charging and there's a USB and 12 volt in there too. Behind the gear lever there's two cup holders, they will hold a large refillable water bottle and a reusable and disposable coffee cup fit in there too. There's a decent size um, central console box as well behind that with a padded lid. There's a glasses case in the ceiling which is lined and a little well here next to the steering wheel I found good for popping the key. Now the glove box is small in here, it would hold my wallet but an iPad wouldn't fit in there but there is a handy little shelf above it which I found useful. Now the door bins are quite small as well in the front, they will hold a large refillable water bottle but that's about it. The boot floor panel of the new RAV4 can be taken out and turned over to this plastic side which is really good for if you're carrying plants for example or the wheels of your stroller are dirty, it just stops all that mud getting into the fabric. Also you can drop that floor down a couple of inches and give yourself a little bit of extra room. Let's find out how much we can fit in the boot. Empty it will hold 14 shopping bags or the mountain buggy duet twin stroller and five shopping bags or the Brightax Flex Tandem Stroller and six shopping bags, or the Mountain Buggy Urban Jungle Single Stroller and seven shopping bags, or the Mountain Buggy Nano Compact Stroller and ten shopping bags, or a medium-sized dog. So the RAV4, when you start it up, because it's a hybrid, it's nice and quiet to start, and again, when you're sitting with your child asleep in the back, they're nice and quiet too. It's really good to drive around town, it's quite smooth and quite quiet, apart from when you're going uphill and accelerating, you hear that engine kick in. The media system in the new RAV4 is surprisingly outdated and, and just doesn't feel very modern to use at all. It doesn't have Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, but apparently it will be the first car to be able to have that added when it becomes available. It does have this good screen where you can see the hybrid and the electric motor, which I always like to see. When you put the car into reverse, it does have this nice big wide image, however it is a little bit pixelated, again surprising for a brand new car. You can mute the parking sensors by pressing the OK button in the centre of the circle on the steering wheel, which is a really good feature. So to sum up with the new RAV4, it's fantastically practical with those three child seats, massive boot and better fuel consumption because it's a hybrid. It's just that media system really lets it down for me. I was expecting something a lot more modern. Read the full reviews at babydrive.com.au